Hi there, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and today we're going to take you through the process of showing you how to create this beautiful tile, this framed tile uh, using just alcohol inks and a plain gloss tile and then we're using our water slide decor paper to actually create the transfer to go over the top. I'll be showing you more about how to actually use this a bit later on but for now we'll get started. Okay so here we have just a normal ceramic glossy glazed tile. We need it to be a non-porous surface in order for the alcohol inks to do their, their stuff. Um, we're going to be using the warm collection of alcohol inks today. We sell this, there's five of them all together. We're going to be using these on the tile now. So starting with the lightest colour, which is our butterscotch, we're just going to put a little of that on your tile and then simply just blend that in and that's your background to start. And then picking up the orange, while that's actually still wet, we're just going to start dotting around the edge of the tile. Now the alcohol ink will come out pretty quickly so you don't need to squeeze it. Just tap it and that's enough coming out to get your colour. Okay I'm moving back to the butterscotch now and just putting a little over the top of the orange. I'm trying to keep the centre at the lightest colour because we're going to be using the water slide over the top and because the silhouette you, you need a you need quite a, a clear and light area for the silhouette to actually stand out. So that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, so moving on to the cranberry now. Tend to put the darker colours around the edge. This simply just pulls your eye into the middle, into the lighter area where your silhouette's going to be. I just absolutely love how these colours react on top of each other. And moving on to bottle now. Now the longer you leave the inks in between putting the next one on, the less it will actually spread because it will have dried off. If you put it straight over the top you're going to get a much wider spread. So just bear that in mind when you're decorating the tile. And I'm just using the eggplant now as well.
Okay. So using our blending tool now, I'm just going to turn that pad over. Just applying a little bit of the blending solution. I'm just going to very lightly dab over the top Now this will very gradually just blend my colours together. The beauty of the blending solution if, is if you don't like it, you don't like the finished piece, just Use your blending solution as a bleach, wipe it clean and just start again. Okay, so I'm going to use just a little bit more colour again around the edge, we're just building it up very gradually. And now the eggplant as well. It's so much fun uh, doing this. It's very unpredictable. You never quite know what it's going to come out like but you can guarantee it's going to be different every time and a little bit of the green the bottle green now as well Okay, so I'm actually quite happy with that now. I've left the centre nice and light, ready for the water slide to go on. So now I'm just going to let that dry and then just spray a varnish or an enamel over the top to set the colours before putting the water slide on. So I'll leave it dry now and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so moving on to our next tile now, we're going to use the cool collection of alcohol inks. So starting with the sunshine yellow, I'm just going to put a little bit of that over the top, blend that in and then move straight onto the citrus. Okay, so don't forget if you don't want the ink to spread as far, let it dry just a little. If you're quite happy for it to spread, you can just keep going while it's wet.
just take your time and enjoy it. Have some fun. It just gives you such an amazing effect. And like I said last time, something different every single time. Okay, so I'm just tilting the ink now so that I get even a smaller amount of again coming out. and using our darker colour again around the edge pulling your eye towards the centre Just blending those colours in a little. I'm going to put just a little bit of the alcohol solution on, very, very lightly. Blending the colours together. And then going back to the green. And moving back to our yellow.
I'm just trying to make this graduation of colour not too dramatic. Something else I tend to use to help blend the colours is one of our smoothies as well. So, just showing you a different effect. This kind of mutes it down a little. As you can see the smoothie actually stops the spread as well. Just dab it straight on as soon as you put the alcohol ink down. It's just trial and error with it. Try different things. I have tried cotton wool before, but unfortunately the fibres from the cotton wool actually stick to the tile. Just a little bit more purple and then I think we're done. We could keep on going forever. It's just always changing. Hard to know when to stop really. more green. Okay, I am going to finish there. So I'm going to let that dry off and then we're going to spray some of the varnish over the top and let that dry and then we'll take you onto the water slide next. So I'll be back shortly.
Okay, so we're going to uh, do another tile now. Um, this is going to be using our warm collection of alcohol inks. So starting again with the butterscotch, just take that over, blend that straight over to the tile and then we'll start now with the sunset orange. So again we're just dotting around Keeping the centre as light as we can, that's where our water slide decor is going. Now we can let that dry off a bit, as I've said before, and that way the ink won't spread quite as much. However, if you want it to spread, just dot it on while it's still wet and it will spread uh, nice and wide. Okay, so moving on to the cranberry now. Absolutely love this colour, one of my favourites. I'm just going to use the blending tool just to go over the top and then we'll move on to our next colour which is the bottle green. And then going on to the eggplant, the darker colour around the edge. Like so. And then moving back to the orange. Tiny little dots. As you can see from the angle that I'm holding the alcohol ink, it means a lot less will come out. So as you can see again, I'm just taking my time 
building up this colour. Until you can stand back and feel happy with what you've got. It's always changing as you're putting more colour on. And the eggplant again around the edge. It is hard to know when to stop. It's um, it's such fun actually. Okay, I'm going to stop there before I bore you too much. Uh, I'm going to let that dry <clears throat> and then I will use a spray enamel or varnish over the top. Maybe a couple of layers. Let that dry and then we'll be putting the water slide decor on top. So I will be showing you that uh, as soon as the varnish is dry. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so moving on to the, the next thing now. This is our water slide. Um, you can buy these from us like this or you can download the image onto a um, product called Lasertram. That will be all explained online. So to start with, I'm going to just pick one of these designs and then we're going to cut out just inside the line there. So just lining this up on my very old but faithful cutter. like so and then we're going to place that in some water so bear with me a minute and I shall just go and get my um, pan of water and I can show you what happens next okay so as you can see I've just got a little bit of water in here in my pan I'm just going to put the decor in here. Now just leave it in there for a little 
and it should eventually start actually peeling away. And once, we, once it starts peeling away, we can then slide the image off and onto our tile. Try to keep it submerged in the water. And I've got myself a little bit of um, kitchen roll here, just to smooth it over the tile when it actually starts coming off. Just going to turn that over. You can see it's just starting to go there now. Leave it a little bit longer. The beauty of doing it this way is that you get a really nice sharp image on your tile. because it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't be the same if we stamped onto the tile, we wouldn't get that sharpness. Okay, so it's just beginning to pull away now as you can see. So we're just going to lift that off and place it onto our tile. So bear with me one minute, I just need to move this out of the way. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so here's our finished tile now. That's been varnished and it's now dry. And I'm going to lift my water slide that's here to the left of me. And we're going to place that on top of our tile, like so. Make sure there's no air bubbles there. We can smooth that out with our little bit of kitchen towel there, like so. Now when that image dries, the background will go white. And then all we need to do is spray a varnish or enamel over the top a couple of times and then it will all become transparent so it will look exactly like this. And then what we're going to do then is put it into our frame that's been designed for, for taking tiles. Um, and then I'll show you the finished items at the end. Just before I varnish the tile, um, I've let this dry now. I just wanted to show you how it dries. Um, so now I am going to spray over the top and it will uh, just go transparent again. Well here we have the finished tile. Um, I've just varnished it, uh, spray varnish uh, a couple of times just to seal it and popped it into this pine frame. Now you can paint the, the frame uh, a colour to complement the colours going on in the tile. Um, and I just think it makes a fantastic gift um, or to hang on your own wall. Something unique, something completely different and that you've actually made yourself. I really hope that this uh, video has inspired you to have a go yourself. Um, so thank you for watching and see you again soon.